Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. Kudos to the security outfit created in the southwest of Nigeria. Hopefully the southeasterners will sit up and stop sleeping. It is not just talk, talk, talk. The southwest, they do not talk, they act. Officers of the Amotekun Corps in Oshun State have arrested some Fulani bandits, ex-men, or terrorists, they call them youth, coming from the northern part of the country into the state with deadly assorted charms and weapons. This, according to the Director General of the Amotekun Corps in Oshun, Comrade Amo Amitolu, Amitolu Shitu, said the security outfits the men achieved a very great one according to reports it is said that swords cutlasses machetes machetes and assorted charms among others very diabolic were seized from these fulani earthmen foot soldiers now i understand that a lot of people do not know the difference between Fulani and Awusas. Awusas are indigenous to Nigeria. Fulanis are not. They invaded that part of the north. But in this case, who are these people? Are they from Niger? Are they from Chad? Where exactly are they from Mali? Are we going to call them Awusa Fulanis since we do not know who is who? These people were accosted and they found all of this with them. Guns, weapons of mass, or terrible weapons of deadly weapons were found with them coupled with charms. The security agent said that these criminals came all the way from Nasarawa and Zamfara states. He said the interstate offenders, first, they are not supposed to move around. They said they divided themselves into groups strategically so as to coordinate their strike. They were intercepted inside different commute buses with multi, uh, with different assortment of machetes, like I said, cutlasses, shovels, assorted charms. What do you think the shovels are for? Is it to dig water or to bury people in there? While they interrogated them, comrade Amitolu said the intruders claimed to be laborers at mining sites in Oshun State, but could not explain why they came with weapons and assorted charms, and how they were trying to enter into the state illegally. There is a lockdown. No, no movement. How were these people able to leave their state, travel that far down into the south of Nigeria, into Oshu State? If this had happened in the southeast of Nigeria, the story would have been bloodshed, and some of their governors, saboteurs, would have come out to say some funny things and you know, I, I don't like when these things are happening in the Southeast and they just talk, talk, talk. They, 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 it's like they are so good in talk. Only for the, the five governors, five governors there to come together and create one workable security outfit. They could not. How can people be this divided? It didn't take them long in the Southwest for all the governors of the Southwest to come together and automatically they created a moteku. People think Amoteku is not functioning. They passed it into the law in all the states and it kept on working. They called the commissioner of police. They sat him down and said, look, this is what we are going to do. And they kept quiet. Why is it difficult? If this had happened in the southeast of Nigeria, oh my God, it would have been bloodshed. It would have ended in tears. So be careful. There are more of this out there coming to the southeast. This is in Oshun State, the Southwest, and they have accosted them. Imagine with weapons. When we talk about rape in the villages, in the farms, people think it's a joke. This is serious. Tell me what these guys are there for. With the weapons, with the shovels, to bury people. To bury people that they've killed. To rape. To steal. Nothing more. Rape destroy kill and whatever evil that you might want to think of well the comrade said the drivers of the commuter buses also claimed that they were only conveying the illegal travelers from ibadan 
They are taking them to Ibado or your state capital to Oshogbo in Oshu. And after they had alighted from the trucks coming from the north, we thereafter send them back to where they came from to prevent transmission of COVID-19. This is even a little bit uh, nice of them somehow. Well, let us look at comments. Let's see what people are saying. Um, we are going to see comments from people that are from the north of Nigeria, Aousas, Fulani, Shua Arabs, or whatever they are from. We're going to see comments from people that are from the southeast and also from the southwest, and of course, Middle Belt, South South, or all the divisions. One say, Amoteku, Unado, fall my hand. Which kind of arrest, for goodness sake? The message should have been Amoteku kill northern terrorists coming to Oshun State with weapons. Why arrest when you know that their Oga in Aso Rock will release them? That's one thing. Um, now, someone said, Mr. Um, Thunder Fire, you, if this is true, may Amotekun this and that. That's someone from the north, that those guys are innocent. This is someone from the north. Now, another person said, Amotekun wants to cause havoc in Nigeria. This is also someone from the north. Now, that tells you that inside of our minds, we are not together. And there is no amount of restructuring that will ever put this in place it is not possible so the solution it is less expensive if i may use the word it is less expensive if i if we, we want to look at it this way for nigeria to divide than for us to try to unify ourselves as one we are not one morally we are not value system we are not one and it is deep very deep there are a lot of discrimination even amongst ethnic groups not to talk of tribe Tribes in Nigeria are nations that are forcefully put together without a proper constitution. Anyway, someone said, good job, Amotekun. This is what they call security, not fake security. How I wish the southeast of Nigeria will wake up and come up with Amotekun. Not just a name, but a performing agency. And this is true. Someone say, well done, be more vigilant. The Northern Brothers are too porous. These people might not be Nigerians, local Awusa or Fulani languages. Um, they might not speak Awusa or the Fulani language. They might come from somewhere else. I don't want to say, I wish the so-called people of South-South and South-East uh, remove the wax in their hair and hear and see what is happening in the Southwest of Nigeria and wake up unless they will be decimated. In fact, there is a story that I brought up, and I've never heard of this in any part of um, the south of Nigeria, aside the southeast of Nigeria, where they said some groups of people in the southeast, in Delta State and some other places, they are receiving bribes from herdsmen, receiving bribes in cows and money, and allow the herdsmen to settle on disputed lands and places. And at the end of the day, these people end up killing them. What is going on with people? Someone say, they are jihadists and terrorists. Thank God for Amotekun. Where are the police and other security agents on the highways? If another person carry ordinary jackknife on his key holder, they will arrest him. Let them blow the whistle on the sponsor of this never-ending illegal cross into the states during this inter-travel ban. Amotekun, blow the whistle. Don't be afraid. Now, I think that Amotekun should begin to have um, a much more stiffer interrogation. They should be able to interrogate these people and... So they can confess. Some of the should have seized the weapons of the suspected criminals, quarantined them for 14 days, checked their health status, and thereafter charged them for court for violating COVID-19 interstate travel ban and possession of dangerous weapons. Time is now right for all the good people of Southern Nigeria to stop all forms of political rivalry, ethnic, religional, regional, and religious differences. Unite! I've said this countless times, but people do not want to hear. I did a series and I talked about the, the ancestry of the south of Nigeria. And I talked about some links, but some people said, no, this, yes, you could be different. Of course, everyone is different, even in the family. But what they need to understand that at this time, at this time, you should realize that if you do not stand together and you continue in your region, you, you, you keep on with ethnic rivalry, I'm Anambra man, Izimo man, I'm from Ondo, oh, that one is from this, although you don't find much of that in the southwest of Nigeria, but let us assume these things do exist, but you find more of these 
issues in the southeast of Nigeria. It is time to wake up from your slumber or you will be designated, you will be finished. Let us wake up. Break all the shackles. Let the south come together, come together as one and break free from this oppression. You think this is a joke? We see these pictures and all of a sudden it seems that a lot of people are now getting used to seeing all these very deadly images. This is not a joke. Just imagine if these criminals have been able to use these weapons. What do you think would have become of their victims? Is it because you are not there and you think this is a joke? Cutlasses, new, daggers, guns, shovel, tubs, and many other things. This is serious and not a joke. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.